I was going early Monday, but I'm only getting to Sunday's Bible study right now. So let's get moving with it. Uh, John 13. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither is he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen. But that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me have lifted up his heel against me. Talking about Judas. Now I tell you before it come that when it has come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth. Whomsoever I send receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. When Jesus had, had uh, thus said, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Talking about Judas. Then the disciples looked one another, doubting of whom he spake. Now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples whom Jesus loved, and that would be John who wrote this gospel. Simon Peter therefore beckoned to him that he should ask who it should be of whom he's talking about that's going to betray him. All right, now we're going to start Revelation 15, the first eight verses. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels, having the seven last plagues. Again, seven is the number for cleansing. God's wrath is now cleansing the earth to set up the thousand-year millennial reign, thousand-year millennial kingdom of Jesus with his sheep. Seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints." Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name, for thou art only, excuse me, for thou only art holy, for all the nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of his testimony in heaven was open, and the seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues clothed in pure and fine linen, and having their breast girded with golden girdles and one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials full of the wrath of god who liveth forever and ever and the temple was filled with the smoke of the glory of god and from his power and no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled i love you very much that's of course any time that's what i'm here for